everyone, we're from the U of T Trash Team. I'm Cassie. I'm Rafaela. And today we're going over the daily CBIN protocol. So first we'll go over the materials you need, uh, starting with your personal protective equipment. So you'll need a life jacket, gloves, and any other equipment your marina may require. Next, you'll need a pike pole or an extension pole to grab the bin out of the water, a trash scale to measure the weight of the bin, along with a tablet or any other device that can use the app to record the data. And if you choose not to use the app, you can print out the data sheet we've created for you to record the data. When it's time to empty your C-bin, first ensure that the power is off so that the C-bin is no longer pumping in any water. If it's left on while extracting the catch bag, debris may flow in and damage the C-bin. Next, when retrieving the contents from your bin, please use a pike pole or an extension pole to safely remove the catch bag from the C-bin. And when removing the catch bag, do it slowly, as it can be very heavy depending on the amount of debris collected within the catch bag. At times, you may need two people to lift the catch bag. Once you have safely removed the catch bag, put your extension pole or pike pole aside and come back to give your catch bag a good shake to remove any excess water there may be. Next, grab your trash scale that we provided to measure the weight by hooking it onto the catch bag. Wait until the numbers on the scale stabilize and no longer fluctuate. This will indicate that it is your final weight. So for example, our final weight is 2.3 kilograms. Unhook the trash scale and grab your tablet, or if you're not using our app, grab your data sheet to input the weight along with all the other data required. Here we are just showing you how to use the app. First, type in your name, the city where you were located, and under site, pick which marina you are within that city. And if your marina has more than one CBIN, they will all be listed under CBIN ID, and you can pick the one you are currently weighing and emptying. When you open the app, the date and time the bin's being removed is automatically inputted. So all you have to fill out is approximately how long your trap has been collecting litter since it was last emptied. Next, fill out whether it has rained in the past 24 hours, what the current wind and weather conditions are. Then, you'll take a photo of the C-bin contents, meaning you'll just take a top view photo of the contents within the catch bag. If you were happy with the photo, press use photo and then you'll have a preview of the photo that you'll be submitting. Next, you'll input the final weight of the C-bin indicated on your trash scale. And lastly, you'll fill in how full your C-bin was, a quarter full, half full, or full to the brim. And if there was anything particular you wanted to note down about the C-bin, simply type it in the notes and you're ready to submit. Once you submitted the data in the app or recorded it on a data sheet, you may now dispose of the contents in the bin. Wearing a pair of gloves, carefully grab the rim at the bottom of the catch bag to empty the contents, and beware of sharps that may be sticking outside of the mesh. Please dispose of the items in the catch bag according to your organization. Now that you've emptied the contents of the catch bag, it's time to safely place the catch bag back into the C-bin. Using your pike pole or your extension pole, hook the empty catch bag back on and slowly place it back into the C-bin. Ensure that the black rim of the catch bag is placed properly on the barrel of the C-bin. Next, put down your pike or extension pole and turn the power source of the C-bin back on. When the power is back on, the C-bin should react as so. And that concludes the end of our tutorial. Thank you all for watching and we hope this was helpful. If you still have any questions, please feel free to email me at cassandra.sherlock at mail.utoronto.ca and I can help you out. Thank you again and we're excited to work with you all.